Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hey, welcome to Houston Life. It is Thursday. We call that Baby Friday, right? Mm, amen, here. amen. <laughs> May 23rd, 2024. I'm Tessa Barada, and if you haven't noticed, we have a special guest co-host filling in for <laughs> Derek Shore, a singer, performer. You're a nurse. You're a mom. You're Houston's own. I mean, Houston has claimed you, yes. girl. Uh, our very own Christina Wells. Welcome back to Houston Life. Ah, thank you so much. I love coming to Houston Life, and I'm so excited. It's our first time to co-host together. I know. I'm filling some big shoes for Derek today always yeah no you you gotta like just put put the respect on Derek's name and he's sad because all the like every guest today he's like tell so-and-so I say hi and tell Chef Rock and tell Troy and tell Elliot and tell Christina I'm like <laughs> okay I will tell everyone you love them now you are someone who has been on Houston Life Media. I mean you're like an OG I, Houston I, Life. I have to say I kind of am at this point you, now huh you really are but your moment that you really said okay I'm here is when you did America's Got Talent um it was season 13 yes I mean you did interviews at the Galleria you were performing oh, yes. right this here was my in first TV interview you ever was to do Houston Life. But yes, with Derek. Okay. It's, it was the beginning of this all. So yeah, this is where it started. So I'm so happy to get to come back. Okay. So, I mean, Derek did want to say hello. I mean, I could tell you that or we could just hear oh, him yay. for himself. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Hi, Tessa. I hope you both have a great show. And Christina, I am sorry I am missing you once again, but thank you so much for keeping my seat warm while I take a couple days off. I have been so happy to follow your career and witness all your continued success. I was glad when I heard you were part of the cast of Newsies downtown at Hobby Center Theater Under the Stars. I cannot wait to see the show. I know you're going to kill it as you always do with your acting and singing skills. And in the meantime, have a great time today on Houston Life. We've got a great lineup. Hey, I love him. Orders from I Derek love Shore. Him. You I have love to have him. a good time. No, I, well, that's already going to happen. <laughs> that's an automatic. So yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that you are, I mean, really full circle, right? Performing, starring in your own show, in your hometown. What does that feel like? I mean, is that like a moment? I mean, oh, I'm feeling a moment I about just, that for it's you. It's amazing to get to come home. You know, I was on the Broadway National Tour of Chicago for right. a year. And so now to be back home and to be at Theater Under the Stars, which just, I love it so much. And to be in such an inspirational, beautiful show as Newsies. Right. Right. Has just, it's warmed my heart. I love Meta. Meta is actually um, originated off a real person, Ada Overton Walker. And so I just feel like I'm getting to bring a beautiful character to life. And wait till you guys see these clothes I am wearing. <laughs> my <laughs> costumes are slay, slay all day. Colleen, Colleen Grady and Logan Kessler put their foot in it with the costume design. Wow. Yes, these are just Gorgeous. renderings. Look at how beautiful. And let me tell you, on I'm stage, obsessed. I was looking at the pictures last night. I'm like, ooh, this is so pretty. It's so beautiful. So I love a long Look. dress. Moment. Look at that. That is so stunning. I love it. She's so beautiful. I love this costume. I love this character. She's just full of life and vibrancy. And I love to get to light up the stage with that outfit. So yeah, I'm really blessed to get to do this. Well, this is, a, I mean, that's a dream outfit for anyone. Yes, I mean, and that's bit. Ada Overton Walker right there. Oh, so this okay. is who Meta was originally like crafted after. She was an activist and a, she was a, a female of the burlesque and the Bowery scene in 1890s, early 1900s. And well, so, yeah, a powerhouse playing exactly. a powerhouse. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. I'm going to take that. I'm okay. Take please, that. please receive those flowers. And, I ser and, it. and seriously, I mean, you fill that stage and that theater and the costume. I mean, you fill it with such love and light. What is it? What is it like? Um, I think the biggest thing is that we we all struggle in life. Like I was just thinking this the other day. Like life can suck like in general. And I think the only thing we can control is ourselves and the people we surround ourselves with. And so in moments like that, I know that the audience is receiving joy and I'm so grateful to get to be like the, the person who helps open that door to joy in someone's life. Yeah. Like sitting in the audience, you need some light. You need to feel good about a day. You've had a difficult week. You need to get tickets to this show and let it just fill your heart with joy. Okay, Miss Motivation. I just can't help myself. <laughs> Look, you, your vibe attracts your tribe. And I right now, you're my tribe right now, girl. So yes, positivity all the time. Okay, talk Talk to me about the rehearsal process because even though we're seeing like the end all, like the the finished product with the pretty bow, literally yeah. with the flowers and the bow on it, there's a lot of work that goes on. Oh, there's on. so much work. These amazing ca my cast members, look, I'm a park and bark, so that means I stand in one place and I just bark. But <laughs> they are singing, dancing, and leaping for their lives. We started rehearsals just three weeks ago. Oh. 
just three weeks ago. Yeah. And we put together this gorgeous show, the dancing, they've got fight choreography. We've run it all over the place, the sets, the giant projections. I mean, just, you know, Tuts, they do it just right every time. Well, they care. Okay, here's some uh, stage rehearsal. Oh, yes, rehearsal. these are Who's all this? my babies backstage. So that's LP, he plays Crutchy. Look, give him mama some love. Aww. And then I think we saw Chris, my friend Chris Tips. He plays Specs, and you can just see, that's Braden. He plays Teddy Roosevelt, the governor. And so, yeah, Easy. these are just, I love to take little <laughs> selfies backstage, because I think we see all the fancy stuff, but it's important to remember all the hard work that goes into creating some, some such a show like this. I love behind Look, the scenes. there we go, there we go. Everybody sing. Get it, everyone, yeah, shout out. You, and if you want to see cute boys, honey, this is the show for you. Of course I want it. I <laughs> want to see the cute young men, the yep, strapping you young yeah, lads. Look, I call everyone children. <laughs> yeah, that's how I am, that's how I am. I'm like, I am your mother. <laughs> Do you show some respect to your mother. Um, okay, let's talk about your costumes because uh, like what you're wearing today, you are such a problem solver. I love people who don't just bring you a problem to the table. They say, okay, this is a problem. I know I'm not the only one who has this problem. How are we gonna work to create a solution for that problem? Let's yes. talk about that. Well, I think something that a lot of people know, because I talk about it so a lot, is my weight. So for me, my weight has always been a hurdle. It was a hurdle to me performing when I was younger, and it's been a hurdle to a number of opportunities for me. And so whenever I started, um, getting to sing professionally from America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. I wanted to wear beautiful gowns. I wanted to wear beautiful dresses. But I'm a single mom, and yes, I'm a nurse, but I don't have tons of money to buy a bunch of fancy clothes. So I started making them myself. And so I made this dress today for, like, look, Gorgeous. I want to make sure I was gleaming next to you. But yeah, Gorgeous. I make plus size clothing. I make custom clothing for people. And I and I have a website, ChristinaWellsDesigns.com. And I've kind of turned my, my, my problem solving of making my own clothes into helping other people who are also generously created, as I like to refer to it. And yeah, want to feel beautiful on your special day because we all deserve to feel beautiful no matter what the size. That's right, Miss Thing, you are the moment. We both, first of all, when we saw each other in the hall, she was we like, oh my God, I love your dress. I was like, oh my God, I love your dress. <laughs> we're springing, spring has sprung, we're yes. floral. Yeah, April showers, we had a lot of showers lately, so I brought the Mayflowers. Right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you're, um, one of your mottos is like saying yes to yourself. Yes, it is. Okay, I believe that we that. have to say yes to ourselves. What do you mean? The reason is because we wait for other people to give us permission. A lot of people who see me will say, oh, Simon Cowell said, Said yes to you. Simon Cow gave you permission. So now I give you permission but because he said or but she said. See, but though that's not the truth. I had to say yes to myself long before I got in front of Simon Cow. Right. Simon's Cow was an agreement to my yes. All right. So if you want to achieve anything in this life, don't wait for someone else to say you're talented enough. Don't wait for someone else to say you could do it. Tell yourself you can do it. Embody that yes, and then you know what will happen. Other people will agree with you. Oh, like wow. if you're waiting for them to get the burden of proof that you can do it, then it's not going to happen but the minute you're like I could do this I look good yeah. people are like you know what you look good because you're just giving you're exuding that yes. energy and that frequency to them wow I, you know I wasn't ready to be this inspired on a Thursday <laughs> I'm like ready to run through a wall over here okay so um, what is next for you we have Pride Month coming up yes I'm going to be singing uh, the Star Fingal Banner at the Astros game for Pride Night June 25th so you know new tutu <laughs> being made if you know you know <laughs> oh no I don't know tutu okay oh, yeah, she, a wear, she makes a custom tutu every time she sings at a sports event. So I set a goal to sing all <laughs> of the professional sports teams back in 2021, and she did it. And so, yeah, making a new tutu. And then after that, in July, I'm going to be Dolores Van Cartier in Sister Act, the musical. Dolores Van Cartier is literally one of the best characters ever. Yesterday in the car, I was talking to my man friend. I call him my man friend. And I go, hey, if you want to be somebody and you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. And he's like, what are you talking about? You're I'm like, like, it's a Sister Act sister quote. Act, sister How do you act, not know the Sister right. Act quote? Okay, that's a, oh, well, first of all, tremendous, but also, okay, she sews, she sings, she's motivational. <laughs> Where is this all coming from? Like, do you sleep? People ask me, do you sleep? Like, when do you sleep? No, and when I did just... you learn to sew? Like, <laughs> how, how is this happening? You know what I think it is, is that for years, I worked as a nurse, I took care of my boys, and I dedicated myself to my family. And now that my kids are grown, and I'm in a place, I'm going to be 49 this year, almost 50, it's time to reap all these ideas and to take myself and <laughs> put myself out there. And I feel like I was put on this earth to motivate people. I feel like confidence is my cause. You know, everybody has a cause. Yeah. My cause is confidence. It comes to me a little easier than it does other people. And so I want to share that confidence with the world and I will remind people of their value and their worth. And I know that I'm the person to do it. I just, 
I feel so, so, so motivated. Okay, let's quick, quickly mention, let's talk about your performing on a cruise. I am. And then you've got some comfort, or some concerts going on at the I'm, Stafford Opera House. Yes, so quickly. I've got the Stafford Opera House okay. in September. Okay. I'm going to be doing a weekend of shows in Columbus, Texas. So Columbus, Texas, mama going to see you there. Shout out. Uh, I'm doing an evening with Christina Wells, my one woman show. And then I'm going to be on a Norwegian cruise, come cruise with Christina <gasps> in October wow. for Halloween. So yes, we have a week of that. So we have a whole fun summer and fall planned ahead of us. Good for you. You deserve it. And you know what? Cheers to like you making it happen. I think so many people think that they have to make their dreams come true in like their teens and their 20s no. and their 30s. It's like uh, mm -hmm. you have a whole, we're like, we're not even at halftime, babe. Exactly. Why do we think we have to figure everything out at 18 and 19? Dreams are not only for the young, they're for our whole lives. Uh, amen. <laughs> amen. Okay, so when can I, I can sign up to a newsletter and I can get yes. a, a motivational, like, uh, hit, yes, hits a like dose, this. A dose of A Christina. diva squad. Yes, my, I call my fan base my diva squad, and I send a love letter to my diva squad every week. Um, so if you go to ChristinaWells.com, you can sign up for my diva squad. And it's just light, it's love, it's motivation, and, you know, let you see what I'm doing next so you can stay in touch with me. You know what? We were needing this. I'm so glad you're here. We've got a packed show. Okay? We do. So you ready? I am I mean, ready. it's not, like, it's almost as packed as your life. You know what? Yeah. I was so excited <laughs> when I saw Chef Rocco in the green room. I was like, hi, how you doing? I'm Christina. <laughs> I, what about me? I'm like, okay, celebrity, celebrity, oh. let's do this show.